Hey guys, this is John from Tech7.net, and this is a disassembly video for the Nokia N900. Just a heads up, Paul actually did most of the disassembly work. See from the parts, we have done it successfully, and now we are going to show you how we did it. The tools you will need would be a Phillips PH0 screwdriver and a T6 screwdriver. Also, it would be nice to have a cleaning cloth in handy. The first step is to take off the battery cover which we have to admit is the easiest step in this disassembly. Now we must take out the battery, and we have chosen to take out the SIM card, but it is not necessary. The back consists of 6 screws in total, 4 PH0s and 2 T6s. First, we will start off by removing the PH0 screws. Now you can remove this little plastic bit on the left side of the phone. To be honest, we're not really too sure what it is. The screen pops right out of the base. You will hear a loud pop noise. Try not to worry, but it definitely scared us. There is a single ribbon that connects the screen to the base. Please be careful of this one. The metal piece is attached to each side of the railings on the N900 screen. On all four corners of the screen you will see one PH0 screw. These screws will definitely take a long time to take out. On this particular model the screws are in there pretty tight. We have to apply an immense amount of pressure to get those things out. Make sure you guys are extra careful and don't strip the screw heads. At this point, we use the screwdriver as a leverage device to pry the metal rim away from the screen. The metal rim has 8 little latches. Once again, we use the screwdriver as a leverage device. These latches clamp on on those plastic hooks of the N900 screen. Now if you shift the metal piece to the middle of the screen, you will see two hidden PH0 screws. These ones do not require too much pressure, and came out relatively easily. Once those screws are out, the screen pops out almost instantly. Please be very 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 careful of those ribbons. Here is a close-up of the screen base, the screen itself, and the metal bevel. There are four metal clamps on the screen itself. Once again, we used a screwdriver as a leverage tool. The screen cover, the screen itself, are both attached to the screen base with ribbons. We just wanted to point out that the screen cover has a sunglasses type of effect going on. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, back to business. The keyboard cover has three little latches that goes underneath this metal piece. Once again, we used the screwdriver to take the keyboard out. Try not to worry, as the keyboard comes out pretty easily. Removing the base from the housing is very tricky. It took us quite a while to leverage out the base. Took a bit of work and force, but success, we've done it. Let's take a quick look at the base. Here is the camera, memory card slot, SIM card slot, charger port, stereo speaker, the other stereo speaker, and various side buttons. And there you have it, a fully disassembled Nokia N900. 
If you have successfully disassembled your phone, then give yourself a big pat on the back. To reassemble your phone, just follow these instructions again, but in reverse. In case you were wondering, yes, we did reassemble our N900 and it is working just fine. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is John from Tech7.net and I'll see you guys next time. Just a heads up, when Paul and I were reassembling the N900, one of the screw heads broke. Ouch. We hope this doesn't happen on yours. Best of luck.